So on day 190-something of this project, he says, Let there be light. Well, the new Slovaks all need to clean this up. And uh, they all seem to come with ABS these days. The cutout with the ABS, the original Slovaks doesn't have this. So you really it wants you to put it like that, but this is then a hole because I'm not actually, not actually using a sensor. It's going to be a hole right the way through to this area, even though it'd be covered up by the disc, this mud shield. I think I'll just offset it slightly so there's not actually a, a full way through uh, on there. Right, I'm going to get this cleaned up. So you got your silicone from years ago, you squidge it and you're like, oh it's squidgy! And think there's some at the bottom, but no, it's all completely gone. Anyway, if only they could make silicon in smaller sized tubes, you wouldn't end up wasting so much of it. So I've got some Hylazil. Okay, so... To get the mud shield. This is the range of spaces I've got. So the right hand hub's on the vehicle, and that actually needed a 15.2, which is what came out of that vehicle. Originally what I did, it was I fitted the 15.2 back on because it was the same bearings, same hub, what have you, and I just thought, I would check the inflow as well, and it turned out there was zero inflow. So I wasn't that confident that it was the right spacer necessarily. So I went ahead and bought a 15.5, which is one of these, well I've actually got two now, Check the inflow, and it turned out it was 15.2, put it on the vehicle, and that was all right. And that kind of palaver is why I didn't film it. So I bought a load of um, spaces here. I've got 15.3, I've already had 15.2, 15.1, These are the more cost-effective ones, they're about £2 each, bare metal ones. I didn't buy 15, and I didn't buy 15.4. I'm hoping these will be enough for all of the bearings. The odds are on my side, I think. I was warned that the bare metal ones have got to check the tolerance, basically, um, because when these come out of the packet, there's no way of knowing what size they are without measuring with them with a set of vernier calipers. So I've, I've labelled these up, but I've just been looking at the tolerances here. This is the genuine one. So these two are the genuine ones. These came out of uh, the axle or various axles or axles and hubs that I bought that I know are are genuine. So this is the 15.2. 15 15.19, 15.21, 15.22, 15.20, 15.21. So there's about a 0 0.02 tolerance on that one. 15.38. I don't know if it's me measuring these probably or whether they've got some burrs on 15.34 15.35 it's a bit fatter around this side they are clean could be burrs, you never know so that's 15.3 this is a fresh out of the packet bear mount one labelled as the, the that part code is the 15.3 15.31, 15 15.33, 15.35, 15.34, 15.32. So yes, there's a bit less tolerance on these bare mat ones. 15.33, 34, 34, 33. It's a bit tricky to measure these 
knowing whether the calipers are slightly dodgy or you're measuring in exactly the right place. These do tend to look a bit more bashed up along the edges and they've got more burrs. That one's actually quite nice and smooth. This one's very burry. And they come from the same same order. So mm, I think they're kind of within the range of tolerance. We'll have to see. Maybe if we're at, if the, the upper end of the measurement and you put in this spacer, that might bump the space a bit wider than you were expecting by 0 0.01, 0 0.02, something like that. So maybe it's only an issue. I'll have to judge if we're at the top of the measurement of the end float, then might end up going to the next size above on one of these bare metal ones. But I'll have to judge that at the time. So it's 15.51 is in that bearing. Let's go and fit it on the vehicle, check the end float, and figure out what the actual spacer should be. Because these bearings uh, have always been in this hub, but this hub has never had a spacer in it. Pretty much brick part, the only brand you can buy these nuts in these days. Wondering for a moment there, brick part nut onto a brick part stub axle. Zero point one nine. That's about zero point two of movement. We're going to do disc run out. It's about zero. Oh, look at that. Very nice. So that's going to be the 15.2 millimeter spacer for the 0.2 millimeter. Funny that, that was what it was on the other side. I reckon it would fill up here, but also fill up this bit where the third outer dust seal is. That I talked about in the other video. I've got a bit of a problem. I took this out. Oh god. I took this out when the stub axle was off. And uh, that's right in the way. So I'm going to have to lift that up. Brand new nuts, bolts, sorry. This is the one that had some sheared bolts in it. 